Radio is the most commonly used broadcast media in North Korea. All radio stations, like television, are subject to strict control by the government and carry no advertising. Radios are permitted in North Korea as long as they're tuned to only receive transmissions from government radio stations. Some of the country's transmitters carry regional programs in the afternoon, but usually relay the central program from Pyongyang. The information landscape in North Korea is tightly controlled. Not only is listening to foreign radio or television broadcasts a severely punished crime, it's illegal to even own or possess a radio or television set capable of being tuned to any station other than the official North Korean media. Radio and TV sets in North Korea are pre-tuned to government stations that pump out a steady stream of propaganda and every song, news article and radio broadcast can only be enjoyed legally if it's approved by the government. There are even reports that some radios are installed in people's homes that blast out propaganda and can't be turned off, and these are known as cable radios. North Korea even puts jammers in place to stop the reception of signals from China and South Korea. All of the world's number stations are designed to be indecipherable, not for public consumption and out of the way on seemingly spurious frequencies deep within the shortwave bands. Only Sweden, Cuba and Poland ever vaguely acknowledge the existence of them and other countries have released snippets of information that only serve to discourage the monitoring of these stations. However, one number station was put out there for an entire country's population to hear on a regular basis. This is the story of the clandestine number stations of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. In this instalment we'll be looking at a small selection of number stations operated by the North Korean intelligence agency, the Reconnaissance General Bureau. Also known as the RGB, the Reconnaissance General Bureau is a North Korean intelligence agency that manages the state's clandestine operations with a large focus on Japan, South Korea and the United States. Established in 2009, it's the direct successor of the General Staff Department of the Korean People's Army Reconnaissance Bureau. There are three known number stations operated by the RGB. The first one is V15, Radio Pyongyang International. Radio Pyongyang International, I hear you ask? Well, this number station would just pop up on the International Broadcasting Service of North Korea. Later named the Voice of Korea, it broadcasts primarily information in Chinese, Spanish, German, English, French, Russian, Japanese and Arabic. The number station was first noted by shortwave listeners in the 1970s and ceased operation in 2001 after the first inter-Korean summit. The station reappeared in June 2016 with a new message format. The first broadcast of the revived V-15 took place on June the 23rd of that year and was reported to the public by South Korean intelligence. South Korea's Ministry of Unification subsequently criticised North Korea for its decision to revive the station. V-15 was unique due to its transmissions on an international radio station. It transmitted in AM on all Radio Pyongyang frequencies and is the only number station to ever transmit on FM, which commenced on the 23rd of June 2016. The station transmitted on three main frequencies and broadcasts took place consistently every week until June the 27th 2019. The usual Radio Pyongyang broadcast was interrupted by a musical score that allegedly determined the recipient of the message and then the message followed. The messages followed various structures with one example being, during this broadcast, first a message for number 2883 will be sent. 
and then a message for number 692 will start from 1208 and then a message for 2185 will follow at 1214. Then some numbers would be read as a short string. The announcements typically took between 5 and 10 minutes to read, depending on the number of digits passed. Another type of message was as follows. Now we'll begin a mathematics review assignment for members of the 27th Expeditionary Unit of the Distance Learning University. Turn to page 459, question 35, 913, question 55, 135, question 86. In similar messages, the radio announcer said, I'm giving you review works in elementary information technology lessons of the Remote Education University for number 27 expedition agents. It appears that each agent of the RGB had a number and even their own song. The 27th Expeditionary Unit was alleged to be Agent 27, who had the song We Will Go Together with a Song of Joy played before his message. Agent 21's song was Spring in My Hometown. These broadcasts appeared to be a book cipher that was often used by North Korea to give missions to spies operating in South Korea during the Cold War era. Spies could decode numbers to get orders using a reference book. Although this method has been used by other intelligence agencies, many intelligence officials believe that this form of sending orders is outdated. Since June the 23rd, 2016, the station broadcast only on September the 19th, 2019, November the 9th, 2019, March the 7th, 2020, and March the 12th, 2020, and has never been heard since. <laughs> Next we'll come to V28 or the Parrot. This is a number station also alleged to be operated by North Korean intelligence, but it's also thought to be a military station or a training station not used by the RGB. V28 broadcasts daily at 0900 and 2100 UTC on varying frequencies and the messages are read by a live operator, a rare occurrence in modern day number stations. During 2014 and 15, it transmitted at 22.30 and 13.30 UTC. Next we come to M40. The M stands for Morse code, with the V in the previous two stations we've looked at standing for voice. These were Enigma designators, and I'll link my number stations documentary in the description below, where there's lots more information and lists of every known number station. M40 was a Morse code number station believed to be operated by the RGB. Very little is known about this station, and there are no known recordings in existence. M40 sent Morse code messages in five figure groups at 20 words per minute and ended each transmission with the letters AR, AR, VA, VA. It was first noted in the 1970s and disappeared in October of 2003. North Korea has 25 embassies around the world, with 16 foreign embassies and one consulate in North Korea itself. A couple of diplomatic broadcasts have been captured that are believed to emanate from North Korean embassies of unknown location. North Korean diplomatic communications utilise a proprietary ARQ modem, unofficially known as DPRK ARQ. Typically, a CW or Morse code signal is sent on one frequency to establish a link elsewhere. On that separate frequency, full duplex DPR ARQ messages can be sent. These messages are encrypted and can't be decoded.
And finally, at the start of the video, I mentioned North Korean jammers designed to block South Korean and Chinese transmissions from being received in North Korea. This is an example of a North Korean jammer designed for this purpose.